This party had been dead for a while. <laughs> I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the, and weather, now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Oh. Shot those guys. I came from over here. I think. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take a painkiller real quick. A few hundred bullets back. Hmm. <laughs> Dude got me good before he died, though. Go ahead and take another one of those since we have so many. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Huh. What a trap. <laughs> Investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Supposed to go out the way I came. Shit, get up. Oh. Oh. What 
to hell! Told you. God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I... What the? No, that's just one of those. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. <laughs> came from over there, so that's how I entered. Um, that guy. Whoa, interesting. Hidden door. you go ape. Interesting. Caught in the crossfire. Oh, yeah? The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors the severe blizzard has ravaged new york for three days now with no end in sight we've been snowed from the start in the valkyr case the forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from but the snowbound city was on my side less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire Well, at least he still cares about that, even though dude's clearly like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, the 
boxes are in the way. So they do blow up, it just takes a second. What the? Ah! Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> But a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bad Boy comic strip. Yep. Hmm, baseball bat. Oh, I've got a Molotov cocktail? That's cool. Set in LA or Mexico. They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsucker, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would you eat? Get it. Ah! 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 Oh, that was just the other. It locks from behind? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, chapter four. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers to green eyed angels. Amen. Oh, oh. Time ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Mm. The transparent cylinder. There was a key on the table. It was dirty money. Nothing in here. Well, there's the bar. Oh, nice. Eight painkillers. That's quite a bit. Oh, magazine. Can't open that. <sighs> Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no, they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. 
Rico Muerte. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Do something. Oh, it's pain. She shooting at me? Okay. Oh, you two of these. Oh, jeez. right there. Veins of New York. I oh. I've absorbed a lot of damage in this small part that I've been doing here. In like the last stretch of two minutes, I've managed to. The antique switchboard. switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now there was a different set of moans and groans going on. released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. <laughs> okay. Don't use that was super over the top, but I loved it. <laughs> oh, man. Perpetuity. Oh, what is that on? I think it landed on the left. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, switch. Oh, that was it. I thought there were more. I feel like that probably would build. Welcome to New York. Another 25 rounds for Ingram. I like how it equips that one for me just automatically. Wait a minute. This is back here where I already was. Okay. So did I get like a thing? This thing's off to the bar. Unless you can. Alright, so these boxes don't go away. I... None of these guys have like a key. That was already here. Puzzling. I don't know what it wants me to do. Where it wants me. Oh, there we go. I forgot about that button. I think I tried pushing it before and it didn't do anything. Chapter 5, The Man Riding Shotgun. I feel like Chapter 4 was way shorter than Chapter 3 or 2. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The fly in his soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. <laughs> a vodka license plate? <laughs> really? Sideswipe 
Oh boy. Well, at least it's not Resident Evil 2. There's no zombies. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. <laughs> Alright, well that will be fun to pick up next time, because we've been going for about an hour. This has been interesting so far. I definitely like Max's way of talking, even if it is a little dramatic sometimes, it's still rather entertaining. Gameplay is fun enough, I like the dodging, the slow motion dodge and such. It's cool. Anyway. We will get on with this next time. Thank you for watching, hope you've been enjoying. Until then, follow me to Apex.